Welcome to Cognition Chunks. This information is for entertainment only. I am not trained in physics. Is this useful? Is this nonsense? Join me as I attempt to learn from GPT. Timeless Physics by GPT, Episode 30, The Nature of Reality, What Do We Really Know? The concept of time. Is it all an illusion? Time is a fundamental part of our daily lives, but both scientists and philosophers have questioned its very nature. Physics suggests that time might be a non-linear, flexible construct, heavily influenced by gravity and speed. On the other hand, philosophers have speculated that time may not be a real physical thing but rather a mental construct we use to understand change and causality. Reflecting on this can change how we perceive our experiences and memories. Are they just a sequence of events? Or do they exist in a more timeless realm? Is time an objective, fundamental aspect of reality? Or is it merely an illusion? Philosophical Perspectives, Presentism versus Eternalism, Presentism. This philosophy posits that only the present moment is real. The past no longer exists, and the future has yet to come into existence. According to presentists, time is like a moving spotlight illuminating the present while leaving the past behind and the future in the dark. Eternalism. Eternalists argue that past, present, and future events are equally real. In this view, time is like a dimension in space where all points, moments, are equally existent. This perspective aligns with the block universe theory, where time is a static four-dimensional structure, and our perception of the flow of time is an illusion. The Illusion of the Flow of Time Many philosophers and physicists, such as Julian Barber and Carlo Rovelli, suggest that the flow of time is an illusion, Barber argues that what we perceive as the passage of time is merely a series of snapshots, or nows, and that the sensation of movement from one moment to the next is a mental construct. Rovelli, in his book The Order of Time, explains that our sense of time's flow is deeply connected to our consciousness and the way our brains process information. Scientific Perspectives Relativity and the Nature of Time Einstein's theory of relativity. Albert Einstein's theories of special and general relativity revolutionized our understanding of time. Special relativity introduced the concept that time is relative and can vary for different observers depending on their velocity. General relativity further demonstrated that time is affected by gravity, causing it to run slower in stronger gravitational fields. Time dilation, experiments with atomic clocks on fast-moving jets and satellites confirm that time passes differently for observers in different frames of reference. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, shows that time is not a fixed, universal constant. Quantum Mechanics and Time Quantum mechanics, the science of the very small, introduces additional complexities to the nature of time. In the quantum realm, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, known as superposition, and their behavior is governed by probabilities rather than certainties. This has led to interpretations like the many worlds theory, where every quantum event spawns multiple parallel realities, each with its own timeline. Thermodynamics and the Arrow of Time The second law of thermodynamics states that entropy or disorder in a closed system always increases over time. This provides a direction to time known as the arrow of time, which points from the past which has lower entropy to the future which has higher entropy. However, this thermodynamic arrow does not necessarily imply that time itself is a fundamental aspect of reality. It may simply be a consequence of the initial conditions of the universe. Psychological and Biological Perspectives Perception of Time Human perception of time is deeply subjective and influenced by numerous factors including attention, memory, and emotional states. For instance, time can seem to fly by during enjoyable activities and drag during monotonous tasks. 
Neurological studies indicate that different parts of the brain are responsible for processing various aspects of time such as duration, sequence, and intervals. Biological clocks. Biological organisms including humans possess internal timekeeping mechanisms known as circadian rhythms, which regulate sleep-wake cycles, hormone release, and other physiological processes. These biological clocks are influenced by external cues like light and temperature, aligning an organism's internal time with the external environment. Metaphysical and Spiritual Perspectives – Time in Eastern Philosophy In many Eastern philosophies such as Buddhism and Hinduism, time is seen as a cyclical process rather than a linear one. These traditions often view the perception of time as an illusion or maya and emphasize the importance of transcending temporal concerns to achieve enlightenment or self-realization. Mystical Experiences Mystical and transcendental experiences often involve a sense of timelessness or the dissolution of the conventional experience of time. Individuals undergoing such experiences report a feeling of being in an eternal now, where past and future merge into a single, undivided moment. The nature of reality. What do we really know? Next, let's talk about the nature of reality. Science gives us tools to measure and understand the universe around us, but philosophy asks us to consider what it means to know something. Can we ever truly understand the reality of things, or are we limited to observing shadows of the true nature of the universe, much like Plato's allegory of the cave? This reflection pushes us to think about how our perceptions and scientific instruments may color our understanding of the world. Philosophical Perspectives on Reality Materialism, what is it? Materialism asserts that everything that exists is physical matter and energy. Reality is composed entirely of atoms and governed by physical laws. This view is championed by thinkers like Democritus and Epicurus, and modern physicalists. Key concepts include atoms, physical laws, and empiricism. But there's a big challenge. How do subjective experiences arise from mere physical processes? Explaining consciousness remains a tough nut to crack. Idealism, what is it? Idealism posits that reality is fundamentally mental or spiritual in nature. The mind or spirit is the essence of all reality. Philosophers like Plato, Berkeley and Hegel are the major proponents. Plato introduced the idea of forms or perfect ideals. Berkeley argued that to be is to be perceived. Hegel proposed absolute idealism, where reality is a manifestation of the mind. But there's a challenge here too. How can a mental reality explain the apparent stability and persistence of the physical world around us? Dualism. What is it? Dualism holds that reality consists of both physical and non-physical substances. There are two fundamental types of substance mind and matter. René Descartes is the most famous dualist. Key concepts include mind-body dualism and the interaction between mind and matter. But there's a tricky problem. How does a non-physical mind interact with a physical body? This interaction remains mysterious. Phenomenalism, what is it? Well, phenomenalism suggests that reality is what we perceive. Objects are just collections of sensory experiences. Key points. First off, the definition reality is constructed from our perceptions. Philosophers like Kant and Mach were proponents of this idea. Concepts. Kant differentiated between phenomena, which are what we perceive, and noumena, or things in themselves. Essentially, objects are sensory data bundles, but there are challenges. One major question is about objective reality. Can we assert the existence of an objective reality independent of our perceptions? Existentialism, what is it? Existentialism asserts that reality is shaped by individual existence, freedom, and choice. Our reality is defined by our own choices and existence. Thinkers like Sartre and Heidegger were key proponents of this philosophy. Sartre's being and nothingness explores the nature of existence. 
The concept of absurdity highlights the inherent conflict between our desire for meaning and the indifferent universe. Authenticity, on the other hand, is about living true to oneself. But this brings challenges, especially subjectivity. How do we derive meaning and purpose in a reality that is subjective and individualistic? Consciousness, the last frontier. Consciousness is perhaps one of the greatest mysteries facing both scientists and philosophers. What is consciousness? Is it merely a byproduct of physical processes in the brain, or is it something more profound? This question touches on issues of free will, identity, and the possibility of artificial consciousness. Exploring this helps us understand not just ourselves, but also how we interact with, and what we can expect from, emerging technologies like AI. Key questions about reality. What is the fundamental nature of the universe? What are the basic building blocks of matter and energy? How do these components interact to form complex structures? How does consciousness arise? What are the neural and quantum mechanisms underlying consciousness? How does subjective experience emerge from physical processes? What is the true nature of space and time? Are space and time fundamental entities or emergent properties? How can we unify general relativity and quantum mechanics? Is there a deeper underlying principle or theory that explains all physical phenomena? Can we find a theory of everything? What role do information and computation play in the fabric of reality? Thanks for watching and remember keep pondering, keep questioning and continue exploring the depth of science and philosophy with us. This has been the finale of the Timeless Physics by GPT series. We'll explore reality, particle types, and particle accelerator discoveries in future series. Thank you for joining us for another Cognition Chunks.